All right, so here we have our Mazza Electronic. Uh, this one is a Mazza Major, which is the next step up from the Super Jolly here on the left. Now we're just going to zero out. And we've got the set to around six seconds, so... Okay, so there we go, around 16 seconds. Uh, when we're weighing on the porta filter, uh, it's always going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit different. But there we go, about 15, 16 grams. Now I'm just going to take over here to our Namazako Swift. Now this is lovely. It's a grinder and uh, tamper in one. in there and there we go so it is going to tamp uh, exactly the same every single time so on to our next point the we can have a high-end machine you know leading in its class uh, so this is a keys fan of western mirage um, they retail for around 16 18 20 grand uh, we can have an electronic grinder it is going to grind consistently to the point zero one of a second every single time and we can have our Lumsoko Swift grinder, and that's going to tamp uh, exactly the same every time. Now, if we have everything exactly the same, coffee machine is not going to change, grinder is not going to change, and our tamp is not going to change. That leaves us with our last variable which is our coffee now if we use same coffee every single time that's fine there's gonna be a little bit of variation that's fine that's life however if we're not storing our beans exactly the same uh, sorry if we're not storing our beans um, in the best way if we're not using our beans within a certain window uh, we're gonna have problems so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clear out any old coffee from our electronic mazza and then I have some beans here which have been sitting out maybe seven weeks maybe eight weeks um, just to demonstrate exactly what changes with nothing else so high-end grinder 
high-end coffee machine, high-end tamp. Only thing that's going to change is how old these beans are and how they've been stored. So they've just been left out. Long time, way too long. There's no way I would ever use these beans. I wouldn't drink them myself. I wouldn't sell them to a customer. So let me just clear out the mazza and then we'll um, see how these behave. <laughs> So we're just about there. All right, that looks pretty empty to me. So this again, all in one take. and clean before it goes into the machine. Pretty much enough to give you an idea of how bad that is. Okay, so two things. I'm kind of making this part of the video because I've had a couple of customers and we've gone through training with them and we've talked about age of coffee, we've talked about freshness and I get a support call, coffee machine's not working. It's flown through too fast. Okay, that's fine. We delivered the grinder, it was all calibrated. Um, and then after some troubleshooting and some more troubleshooting, we found out that they had gone and bought coffee from their local supermarket. And uh, sure enough, after we uh, instructed them to go and uh, throw that out, throw it out immediately, go down to the local roaster, get fresh roasted coffee. Not all coffee is the same. Do not buy coffee from the supermarket. Um, there is no way I'm going to drink this. It is going to taste like a filter coffee as opposed to an espresso. Um, and that's not what we want. It's not what our customers want. It's not what our customers deserve. Um, you know. They come to us for the best product they can possibly get, um, and we deserve to give them that. So we're going to wrap that up uh, here. Another couple of things we're going to go over in another video, but uh, uh, so just to uh, recap, um, make sure that everything is uh, we control as much as we can. So we clear out all of our waste, whether that's through the chute in funnel. 
whether that is clearing out the chute in a doser and clearing out the dosing chamber. Okay, we want that nice and clean. And whether or not that is making sure that the coffee that we are using is as fresh as possible. Okay, my general window of window is around two weeks. So anything longer than about two weeks, I'm gonna throw it away. I might use it to do some training with a um, uh, with an intern with a training. Uh, but I certainly wouldn't consider uh, selling it to my customers. I certainly wouldn't consider dry, uh, drinking it myself. So there we go. I'll uh, wrap that up there. And uh, if you got some value out of this, uh, if it was helpful, hit us up in the uh, comments below. If there's something you'd like to see us cover, again, fire us through a, a DM, message us, uh, reach out to us on our Facebook, our Instagram, or here on YouTube. All right, cool. Take care. Cheers from Peter at Headshot Coffee. Okay.